look outside right now on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum where mm -hmm. the great old state fair is going on. We're talking about ice cream this morning on Sunrise. They have so many great treats out there, lemon shake-ups. What else, Lindsay? What have you had so far? Oh, my gosh. I've had the corn <laughs> on the cob, the steak tips. I've had the hash brown, the, the Hoosier hash from the dairy barn. What else have I had? A, a couple of lemon shake-ups at this point. I've had a slushy. I've had. I've been out there like four times though, so I've had multiple opportunities. This is not to one grab. sitting. No, no, because you're <laughs> you're still looking really good. Today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times you get to the gym? I feel like there are no calories at the state fair though. No. This is the once a year thing. You have to really just indulge yourself and take full advantage of it while it's going on. Yes, I yeah. agree with that. Right? Amen. All yeah. right, it's it's beautiful outside. A little hot and muggy compared to a couple days ago, yeah. but you're gonna have that in August here in Central Indiana. Yeah, it's pretty seasonal. Just a couple of degrees above average, so. Taking advantage of that dry time while we have it. Let's take you down, though, to Brown County, where it was not dry all day yesterday. We talked about the potentials and storms. They really set up just south of the Indianapolis metro in the southern part of the state. So we're talking places like Bloomington over to Brown County, picking up nearly a quarter of an inch of rainfall. Heavy rain at times yesterday because of where that boundary set up and where those storms just so happened to initiate. It was across the southern part of the state. And looking ahead at tomorrow, I really expect the storms to kind of set up in the same zone. While we are at this point needing the rain here in Indianapolis and areas northward, really all of us could use the rain right now. Looks like it is going to be a mainly a southern Indiana event as that next weather system moves in. And really nothing out there on Live Doppler 13 radar right now. We are watching back to our west. There's a widespread cluster of storms moving through portions of Missouri right now. Some heavy rainfall and some strong storms embedded within that. But we are totally going to miss out on that storm system. Here we go for the rest of the day today. Going to keep that sky mostly clear. Temperatures rebounding. From 82 right now, back to 87 for a forecast high today. Get 84 is where we should be, so just a little bit above that. And then as we get into the evening tonight, temperatures fall back into the 80s, so a mild, pleasant evening shaping up for us. Let's look ahead to tomorrow, though, when that next weather system does arrive. It'll be another cold front. And as we have a warm, moist air mass in place, it could potentially produce some of those storms. But again, I do expect it to be mainly south of Indianapolis tomorrow. We start the day off on a dry enough. You're headed to the fair tomorrow afternoon. Still looks pretty good. Going to be a hot and humid day, though. 86 at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Going to go with a high of 88 tomorrow afternoon with those storms again initiating in the late afternoon and evening. Here's the latest timeline on Future Track 13. Notice a mostly dry start to the day. Then we get into around 4 p.m. This is why I want to pause this. Noticing where the setup of this boundary is. 4 o'clock. We'll walk you through about 8 p.m. and pause again. And that uh, line really does look to, again, initiate two areas south. So we're talking about Martinsville to Greensburg, Bloomington to Columbus. The highest chance that we could see some not only storms, but some stronger storms containing damaging wind gusts through the afternoon tomorrow. That boundary is quickly going to move out. We are severe clear by around 8 o'clock tomorrow night. The sky clears overnight. That's how we start the day on Friday. Mostly sunny skies take back over as we wrap up the work week. Again, behind this system, notice where that humid air mass is going to be. This is 7 a.m. on Friday. It continues to push off to the south as high pressure builds into the north, and that's going to keep us feeling pretty good all the way through Friday, Saturday, and really most of the weekend as that dew point drops back into the 50s. That's exactly where we want to be because that's where we feel comfortable. 83 degrees, you're high on Friday. 84 Saturday, staying dry. Increasing clouds could squeeze out a stray shower with our next system on Sunday. And then a couple of waves of rain move through early next week. Unless the temperatures uh, stay in the 80s through the middle part of next week. All right. Need Saturday and Sunday to stay just like.